Welcome to my channel. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to enlighten you and show you things that I pee. But before I do that, can you please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? And be sure to ring that post notification bell so that you can receive a notification the moment I drop a video. And I thank you in advance. Welcome back, my coffee drinkers. I missed y'all. It's been two weeks I was not allowed to post due to me having a strike on my channel. So I could not post for two weeks. But I have been posting on my backup page, my backup channel, which is Icebook Coffee, not T2. You can go check out three videos I posted over there. I am back full-fledged. And you know what I'm saying? It's time to get it in. All right? Now, we're going to start with this. Now, you know how my page is, okay? And I always talk about opening up your third eye and using it. Because that's the only thing you're gonna see what's happening. You know what I'm saying? You cannot use just two eyes. You ain't gonna see nothing with just two eyes. You have to go inside deep and use your mind's eye, okay? So in order for you to even be on this channel or understand or understand or understand what I talk about on this channel and the things that we discuss over here, you're gonna need a third eye, okay? Because the stuff I'm gonna talk about today is going to sound crazy, you know what I'm saying? But it's only gonna sound crazy to people who don't use the third eye, who doesn't really have a clue what's going on, okay? And it's not your fault, it's not. We're distracted, you know what I'm saying, with a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, you have all this entertainment, you know what I'm saying, like the sports, the movies, the, you know what I'm saying, Netflix and all these type of things, it distracts you, so it's hard to find out what's going on and then when somebody starts telling you, you know, they sound so crazy because they've been hiding so many truths, you know what I'm saying, but I want you to understand that when somebody starts speaking about things and they sound crazy, please do not just shut them off, okay, don't do that, that's number one, they count on you to do that. People are not as crazy as you think they are. We're going to talk about Cappy Pondexter. Cappy Pondexter is an ex WNBA basketball player who played for the teams such as Mercury, Liberty, Sky, Sparks, and Fever. She spent 13 seasons in basketball. And her career total is average, you know, she had an average of 16.4 points, 3.8 assists, 3.7 rebounds. Check out those numbers if you know what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, now I have a video of her speaking. You're going to hear the name that she's going to be saying. She's going to be accusing some people of some horrific things, okay? Now, you may look at her. Do not shut her off as being crazy because, to me, she is under MK Ultra. To me. I'm not saying she is. I'm saying, to me, she appears to be. And this is how it looks when they break programming. And I got these clips off Petty Armani's channel. You can check out her channel. Petty Armani. Shout out to Petty Armani. All right, check this out. Throw it. 
Now, as you see there, she said some pretty, you know what I'm saying, haunting things. She said that LeBron James traffics women. She claims that he molested children at his school. You know what I'm saying? There's other videos where she's saying that Jayla was her mother and stuff like that. Now, this is this may sound crazy, but this is the thing. When you're on the MK Ultra, you know, and you start breaking programming, you sound crazy. Who knows what was put into her brain? to make her say things like that to begin with. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, we know J-Lo is not her mother. But somehow in the industry, you know, they, their lives are not like ours. They have code names that mean this and that. She may not mean the type of mother that we're thinking about because it's a different world and a different land with them. Now, when you hear her talk about LeBron James, I know he's a lot of people, most of the world, you know what I'm saying, their favorite basketball player. You know what I'm saying? They believe he gives back and he does this and that, but you don't know him personally, okay? And I'm not saying he did this stuff because this is all alleged. You know, we have to say alleged. But this woman sounds very matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? Cappy doesn't seem like she's lying. She seems like she's telling the truth. She said that he stole her money. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. She sounds believable. And what I'm also saying is you do not mark her off as being crazy because if she is crazy, it's because MK Ultra Drugs have made her crazy. And so wherever she's been for two years, because she said that she has been missing for two years. So of course they'll come out with stories and make it seem like, you know, people have been arrested and, you know, they've been found and, you know, they're fine. But if she says she's been missing for two years, do not brush that off like she's just crazy. Cause no, this type of stuff does happen. And just because somebody's your favorite basketball player or your favorite entertainer does not mean that they do not do things. Okay, so, um, you know, don't always think people are talking crazy just because it may sound crazy. Okay, the industry is not like what you think it is. These people are not like you and I. We do not know the rituals and stuff that they do do. That's why I do not get caught up in these entertainers and these basketball players and football players and stuff like that. LeBron James is a very talented basketball player. I would never take that away from him. But this woman is alleging some serious stuff. Now, I hope it's not true. I hope it's not true. You know what I'm saying? Because that's awful if that is true. Like, I would hate that. I mean, that's, that's sickening. It makes me want to barf and it makes me feel real, real sad for anybody around these kind of people if this is true. We don't know if it's true. All we know is this is all alleged. This is what she's saying. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I feel like she's been experimenting. She's an experiment in the MK Ultra. You know what I'm saying? Program. It's a code name for experimenting on, you know, experimenting on human brains. Now, LeBron James, okay, when he first came out, you know, he played for the Cavs. That's number 23. You know, that's one of them numbers again. You know what I'm saying? Just, it's, 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 not a, it's not a coincidence that that's the number that was on his shirt. Same thing for Miami Heat, number six, okay? Another not a coincidence. These are the numbers that you see a lot. <sighs> just you gotta go study numerology and things like that you know what i'm saying and then when he joined the lakers you know what i'm saying back to, you know what i'm saying 23 do you do you do you, do you get where i'm going here these numbers these are not numbers these are numbers are not by accident okay so these people play the game do you understand what i'm saying and this woman this young woman you know i think she's like 37 years old you know she's been traumatized she looks traumatized with it, even though I think that's a game, but she just, she's been traumatized. It's obvious that she's been traumatized. I don't know if this stuff really happened to her or if it's in her mind, but somehow her mind thinks it happened. 
and it has traumatized her. And it's got people running around calling her crazy, thinking that she's nuts. You know what I'm saying? But you cannot brush these people off. That's all I'm saying. Don't brush them off. All right? Thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate y'all for sticking with me, rocking with me. And thanks for coming back. It's been two weeks. I would never be gone for that long. But also subscribe to my backup channel because if I can't post here, I always post there. Love y'all. Peace. Happy Friday. Oh, yeah. How could I forget this? Make sure that y'all hit the like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And share this video. I got a lot of people watching, you know what I'm saying? But not enough people subscribing. So go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to hit all. So you'll be notified, all right? All right. Thank y'all.